Let's jump to the ball here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster Battle playing as the Order of Law Masters going up against Luther Harkon. We're playing on small unit scale, which is something that I always advise people not to play on, but, you know, people have put potatoes sometimes, and you gotta worry about performance. Anyway, small unit scale makes uh, Necrofex Colossus incredibly powerful, like four times more powerful than they are on ultra unit scale. This unit here probably benefits from small unit scale more than any other unit in the game. Uh, and I'll explain that in just a bit. But anyway, that's a huge problem we got to deal with. But we're there on the attack and they're on force march. So we might be able to get them to take a defensive position and hide some of our units so that they don't come charging at us right away. If we can waste these seven units of Necrofex Colossus ammo, then by themselves, they're not that dangerous. It's just because of their artillery. So the reason why on small unit scale, Necrofex Colossus are so dangerous is because doesn't matter what the unit scale is, the amount of damage that they do is the same. Especially due to infantry. So, three cannonballs go out on any unit scale, and those cannonballs, while they're not, like, 100% accurate, when you've got an infantry line, you don't necessarily need to pinpoint accurately hit the right target, because if you miss one shot, you might actually still hit the target. Um, hit a different target. So it can actually be still just as accurate. And that isn't taken into consideration at all. And they're not reducing ammo or damage, so it just it just totally screws up. Like, one cannonball can wreck your entire unit, and then it routes, and, you know, it's only been hit once. Anyway. Oh, uh, reinforcements coming from over there. Uh, okay. Well, I maybe should have not controlled large army, but I'll see if I can get some of these. Out of there. Hang on, hang on. They're not, they're not actually turning around. Oh, no, no, there they are. Try and get these guys out of there, because then they're never going to make it. <laughs> One shot. Like I said, small unit. No, that's gone. Look, it's leadership. Oh, hang on, no, it's coming back. Hard to dodge with this particular unit. But you can. Actually, maybe I'll use this to dodge for a bit. If it gets killed, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to be that valuable in the battle. It's just garrison unit. Alright, let's do that. I was going to try and save it, but... You know, we've got to waste that ammo somehow. And what better than a garrison unit to use it on? And as our guys continue to die, it'll be harder for them to hit us, because it's a smaller target. So the mortars are aiming at the wizard, but that's okay, because they got longer range. Ugh. Rip. Okay. But we did use up a fair bit of their ammo. I'd say that they actually did their worth. Alright, now you start moving up. Um, let's not go into total fast mode just yet. Alright, let's see how this goes. It looks like some of them are actually facing kind of the wrong way, so maybe they're not going to be shooting. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier to dodge, but this will take a little bit longer, but that's fine. I'd much rather increase my chances of success. Yeah, i got to be tricky here, because any missteps could see us dead. So you want to change direction right right after they shoot, not before. And the thing is, when there's more of them shooting at us, it's just trickier to do that because they're they're not firing at the same time. All right, maybe we can speed this up a little bit. Oh, got hit there. Wasn't too bad. Crap. Okay. I'm um, gonna need a heal now. Moving 
So they're not firing all at the same time. Bouncer power is improving. But this isn't easy. They're semi-difficult to dodge just because they're not super accurate. It's actually easier to dodge them if they're accurate. And they're not super long range either. The longer the range and the more accurate they are, the easier it is to dodge them. Mm, got hit again there. It's so okay if she gets killed because she's immortal. Prefer it if she doesn't, but I'll do what I can. Do what I have to to win. Sometimes sacrifices need to be made. So just keep a rhythm of it. Yeah, I got hit bad. I got hit really bad. Shit, I'm trying to slow it down. Fuck. I was trying to slow it down and I didn't. Quick, 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 quick. Luckily they ran out of ammo just in time there. She'll come back. That'll heal her to full. She'll come back. All right, cool. Definitely should have been doing that at normal speed, but I don't want to sit here for half an hour doing this. We'll manage. Alright, so some of them have run out of ammo. Alright, next time she gets hit, I'm going to pull her out. Alright, there we go. I'm going to pull her out now. And unfortunately, it's Techless's turn. Which is really not preferable, but... We're not going to put these guys in melee, so as long as they don't get killed, it's okay. Now, Teclis is a harder target to hit, but he's also slower, so it's harder to dodge. And he's got just as much health as the wizard, pretty much. Now, if this starts to go bad, we'll need to use the garrison forces to... Uh, they're not going to dodge, it's just going to straight up... We're just going to use some literal cannon fodder. Okay, I got hit pretty bad there, but... Ah, damn it. Alright, well, at least we've used up most of their units' ammo. Bounce power's going up. I'd rather use... An oh, hang on, let me just check this. Yeah, it's only six minutes of magic. Alright, just pop that down. Alright, what have they got left? Two units with pretty much full ammo. Shit. Well, we got full health. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that one's out of ammo. That wasn't one of the ones we need to target. If we do any damage to them, they'll start charging at us, which is not what we want. I'm just surprised they haven't gone after them. Oh, they put them back around this way. That's weird. Okay. Oh, jeez, we just hit, got hit real big time there. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Making my way. Yeah, I don't think we can keep doing this with Techless. He's he's just not as good at dodging as, as her. But if I use her, I'm very likely to get her killed. We can't just charge in there yet. We'll get absolutely shredded, even if it's only two Necrofexes. That will not work. We have to keep dodging. Oh, they moved them back around there. Fuck, they're annoying. Um... Hmm. Alright, let's start moving around the back here. And let's start bringing these over here. Shit, they're shooting at us again. Whoops, oops, 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 stop, stop, stop. It's okay, no big deal. Good, no harm done there. That could have been bad. Uh, how do I dodge that? <laughs> there was too many shots coming from all over the place. It's like, how do you dodge a scatter shot? 
stand in the middle of it, basically. It's okay if he routes off the battlefield, just don't die. It would be better if he stays, we need his magic. Actually, we don't need his magic, we want his magic. Alright, speed this up. I think we've got a reasonable rhythm to it at the moment. Probably will get hit again, just hopefully we don't get killed. So far, so good. This one's just about out of ammo. It's a lot easier to dodge if there's just one of, a sh one of them shooting at a time. Okay, this one's just about out. I think it's got two shots left. Uh, no, one shot. Cool. One more to go. If Teclas takes another shot, we'll need to use the other life wizard. Because I need him to remain on the battlefield, because he's got some good spells that we can use, like Ned of Amantok. Okay, he's done. Alright, it's all up to you now. Hopefully you don't get killed, but if you do, so be it. If there's just one of them, this actually shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, shit. Oh, I got hit. She's gone. And she's probably going to get... Is he going to get it? It's okay if she leaves the battlefield. Alright. Oh, there's only a few shots left. Damn it, we're so bloody close. But the thing is, those... How many shots do they have? Those three shots could really do a number on us. Alright, Teclas, back in there. You've got to dodge three shots. Oh, okay, I never mind, they're just going for the garrison. I'd actually prefer that. Alright, with that done... Alright, they're fully out of ammo. Alright, these guys will move up first, and we'll just waste them. In the meantime, let's get a formation going over here. Uh, I don't think checkerboard formation is really going to matter. And we're going to really need to make use of his... Oh my god, what's... 17% chance of miscast. We need to use Ned of Amantox on the on when they're on the approach. Actually, you know what? Um, I'll have them come around and let's form up over here rather than waste them right now. Let's not be lazy about that about this because the bounce battle is still not in our favor. We can win this, but no laziness could be made. They've lost a huge amount of their advantage now. It's just because of the grave uh, depth guard. Which we should be able to take out reasonably well, if we pin them down. And this is where small unit scale might actually benefit us, because they're in a smaller group. Maybe Ned of Amatok will get more of them. Alright. Just hold the ground. Make sure these guys have got decent positions. The thing is, as soon as those Depth Guard get in range of us here, as in, get into melee, they're going to wreck us. Alright, first thing we think we should cast is Fiery Convocation, right through there. What's the range on it? 150 meters. Uh, what's the range on this? Not that. Okay, cool, it's not going to get us. Just got to make sure. And yeah, we'll go for the Depth Guard. I think that makes the most sense. Fear my words. It's okay if they dodge one of them. And the rest take a decent amount of damage, but no one of them got killed. And we'll give him a chain lightning. It's 
it's, it's an alright cast. It's not amazing, but it's going to do something. Fireball will actually be good on this unit scale as well. Um, should we use it on a Necrofix? Or a Depth Guard? Mm, I th actually think the Depth Guard might be a better choice. Yeah, it's like, there you go, right. Now it's the small unit scale comes in my favor. We've taken out all of their advantage. Alright, Chain Lightning right now won't do much. Keep using those fireballs, that's actually really good. Make sure we get a, a target that we can actually hit. Or not. Bounce of power's looking good. Fuck it, just go for it. Go for whatever we can hit. If we can't hit something, just whatever we can hit. Alright, ready? Let's hope it doesn't miscast. Just wait for it. There. 17% chance. Okay, it didn't miscast. Try to lure them away. Okay, we'll be able to cast it again real soon. Probably not going to do anything, but whatever. Alright, all archers should focus fire on one Necrofex at a time. Yeah. The actual um, overcasted version has a bit longer of a cooldown, so you got to wait a few more seconds. There it is. Come on, don't miscast. Good boy. There's low chances, but it can still happen. Okay, this one next. It's gonna hurt, but we can't really do much about it. Maybe you shoot into this. Okay, another one down. Just keep focus firing on the Necrofexes. I think I hit my own unit there. That's okay. Because this is what's going to destroy their balance of power and hopefully give them the army losses. Just single cast it. Because only. And there it is. There's the army losses. Now there is no way in hell we would have won on the advance if they had, um, if we hadn't wasted their ammo. But there we go. And the army doesn't even look that badly damaged. The only units that got wiped out were really the garrison ones. And there you go. Now even if you had Sisters of Avalon in this army, it still wouldn't have really mattered. It just would have made the, the end bit there a lot easier, but these guys would have killed them before, before you would... All right, you could have gotten close. Free the captives. Shackle them. Uh, your money's okay. I'll give you a replenishment so you can keep pressing the attack. I I think you should really make a big push to get rid of um, the awakening. Like go straight for their capital there. Don't go to the blood swamp. Just um, stay there for the turn and then sail straight there and cap it. Although you do need some artillery. Why haven't you got any? Yeah, you gotta get yourself some artillery first. Unless you got Vol's... Nope. Oh no, yeah, you can do the Invocation of Vol. It's a bit tricky, but if you do that, you should be able to manage that. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. It's a bit of a pain in the ass doing that, but... The alternative is lose, basically. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Don't forget to leave a sub, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.